Hi guys, it's Jeff Slavers Racing, and today I want to show you a new uh, product from New Tech called the ProLock 360. Uh, it's a tubeless system, so that you don't have to run any type of a tube inside your tire. You can also use it with mooses or uh, the new half mooses that we have out by New Tech called the 5150 half moose. Now some guys, not, there's a lot of confusion about this product, uh, and rightfully so. It's uh, totally uh, out of the box thinking, and it's a very new and uh, product to the market. And a lot of the guys I've already seen some postings on this where they, they're confused and they think it's just a rim lock system. Well, it's not. It does give you a 360 degree rim lock or a bead lock, if you prefer to call it that, but it is not just a bead lock system. It is a tubeless system. So it seals the, the rim area and the tires to where you can run without a tube. All right, and then I'll show you the basics of it here. So there's nine of these pieces that go around the rim, and you can see where the beads, uh, the uh, nipples are touching this, because I had it tightened down. And so this this area of this this is a rubber piece on here, and this area seals the the spoke nipples. And then when you when we tighten this down, it, the rubber squishes out and pushes against the bead of the tire and makes a 360 degree rim lock and also seals the tire at the same time. The pieces also squish together. Uh, so this is gonna squish this way, the other one squish this way. So it's sealed all the way around. And also seen comments where guys think it's gonna be a nightmare to install a tire. We're gonna show you that that's not true, that it's very easy to install a tire. Now there is one of them that's different. So eight of them are the same. And then one of these is where the air goes in. So you can see there's a, um, a valve core in there and the air comes through this. This, is, this bolt is where you put the air into the system. Okay, so now over here, I'll show you some of the tools. We've just got some basic tire tools here. We've got the Rabaconda and a, and a real basic one. Uh, this is a glide plate that will come with the product to help you uh, uh, get it lined up in the tire. We've got a 90 degree ratchet here, an air ratchet. There's electric ones you can use or you can just do it by hand. I just have that to speed the process up. And then we've got a uh, regular tire here. We're going to show you how to do it with that first. And then over here, we've got a tire that's got a half moose in it, and we'll do that one next. And I'm not real smooth at installing these yet because I just haven't done it enough yet, uh, just a few times. So this system, uh, the group of testers that uh, New Tech enlists to help them test their product, we've been testing this product for over a year. So it's, it's, not, it's not a new untested product, it's very well tested. And there's a bunch of us. I mean, I think there's about 30 guys involved in the testing on this. All right, so this goes in here. That's just a, a guide plate. And you can start wherever you want on. And then the goal here is to get the wheel, the rim inside the tire. It's a little different method than what you're used to using, but it's, it's different, but it's not hard. Or it might be. So you're going to see me wrestling with it here for a minute because Fishing at this yet. Okay, so right now I'm going to kind of angle it in there, push down on it from the top here. Okay, and you can see it's kind of popping out over here. Get that back in there. There we go. Okay, now the wheel's inside the rim. Oh, excuse me, the rim's inside the tire. 
remove the glide guide plate. Let's see if she's sitting in here now. So that was easy. Guys are going to ask, why don't I use a Rabaconda? Because this is what I have. I've had it forever, it works for me. You don't even have to have a tire changing uh, stand to do this, but it's sure a lot easier if you do. Now all these are very loose. You can see I've got the nut almost all the way backed out. And then you can just start sliding it in down there. So I'm just gonna push forward with my leg here and go around. You don't need a gigantic tire iron or anything. If, if you feel a need for that, well then you're probably doing something wrong. You should stop and rethink it because you might, might break, break the beat of the tire. You start and stop with the rim lock, but in this case, there is no just one rim lock. There's a, basically a whole bunch of them, so you can start or stop whatever you want. Sure, you just take small bites. And that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, you know, it's on. It's, it's, it's easier than changing a tire with a tube. It's easier than changing one with a moose. Uh, it's pretty much easier than anything. So from here, we'll take the arrow ratchet and go around. And I'm just going to do like, uh, I usually, I don't even know what the instructions say. I should have stopped and read them. Shame on me. Anyhow, uh, definitely follow the instructions that come with it, but I, I believe I'm going to start at a place where the tire has already kind of popped out onto the, onto the rim. And then I'll just work my, my way around. I'm not going to tighten them down all the way. And then, uh, Put some air in it and be ready to go. So that's really all there is to it. It's a very easy system to mount a tire on. Other than it does take a lot of ratchet work if you're going to do it manually. If you have an air ratchet or, or an electrical ratchet, it's very easy to tighten all these down. And the torque spec I don't have for you right now. That will be in the instructions. Like I said, this is a new product. It's not even going to be out until December of 2025. So. Stay tuned guys, and uh, the next video we're going to make right after this one is going to be in, using the same 360 system with a half moose, so you might want to stay tuned for that one. Alright guys, if you would like us on Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, give us a shout out on social media when you can, stop by our beautiful store, and definitely get out for some fellow therapy. It's all for now.